Let's do a good version that you might not necessarily think of as a unit conversion. I have a 30 horsepower pump and it's running for 30 hours. Electricity costs 9 cents per kilowatt hour and I want to know how much did it cost to run the pump. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to take 30 horsepower and somehow magically turn that into dollars. And uh, it's actually not too difficult if you know the secret. And the secret is that one horsepower is equivalent to 0.746 kilowatts. So we're going to do this problem two different ways. Um, you know, kind of the intuitive way, I think the way that most people think about it. Uh, and then we'll do it all as one big long unit conversion. Um, the first thing that we have to do is convert horsepower into kilowatts. Okay, so I've got my 30 horsepower, drawing the backbone of my track here, and for every one horsepower there are 0 0.746 kilowatts. Okay, so if I make that conversion, I find that my pump didn't really use 30 horsepower, what it used was 30 times 0 0.746 or 22.38 kilowatts. Now my pump ran for 30 hours, so I'm going to take that 22.38 kilowatts that it used and I'm going to multiply, oops, always put your units in there, kilowatts, and multiply that by my 30 hours and what I'm going to find is if I multiply those two things together I end up with a number you know which is all well and good 671.4 but you know sometimes the units are more important but they're always equally important to what I'm doing here with the numbers and if I take this and look at it, what I have here is kilowatts multiplied by hours and so what I end up with down here is going to be a kilowatt kwh kilowatt hours. Well that's good for me because I can now convert those kilowatt hours into actual dollar signs. Okay, so I'm going to start the backbone of my track here and I've got a, um, oops, got my 671.4 kilowatt hours that I needed to run that pump and every one kilowatt hour from the power company costs me nine cents. So I've got kilowatts on the top here are going to cancel out with kilowatts on the bottom and leave me with dollars. So when I multiply my 671.4 kilowatts by nine cents I find out that it costs me about $60.43 to run that pump for 30 hours. Now you can actually do this in all in one big step if you want to, if that's uh, kind of the way that you think about it. And so here I'm going to do it all in one big long step. So I need a big long backbone to my track. And on this end I'm going to start with my 30 horsepower and I'm going to say when I'm done, when I get all the way to the other end, what I want to end up with is dinero, dollar signs. Okay, so I've got horsepower on top, so I'm going to put horsepower underneath. For every one horsepower, 0.746 kilowatts. And now I've got kilowatts, um, and the only other thing that I have, you know, that I know from the problem is up here with this nine cents per kilowatt hour. So I'm going to say I've got kilowatts on the top. Uh, I'm going to put one kilowatt hour down here underneath and I know that that kilowatt hour costs me nine cents. Okay, so let's look at what happens with the units as I'm canceling units out. Horsepower on top cancels with horsepowers on the bottom. Kilowatts cancels with kilowatts on the bottom, but this hours is still hanging out there. So what I have right now in terms of units is dollars per hour. So if I take my hours on the bottom and put my next hours up here on the top and fill that in with my 30 hours of run time, I'm going to get exactly the same hour, the same number that I got the first time. Hours cancels with 
hours and I am left with my sixty dollars and forty-three cents. So two different ways to approach the same problem.